again. Ah, oh, hope you've all had a lovely week. Let's pop that little brewski down there. Put her on there. Beautiful. Right, let's get comfortable. Ah, oh, and breathe. Thank you all so much for coming back. It's lovely to see you. And thanks for the comments as well. Me and Alfie are just blown away by all the support that we've been receiving. So uh, let's get into today's Alfie's laughing at the back, I don't know what about, it doesn't really matter anyway. You can probably hear him laughing now, I'm not even sure what he's going on about. But anyway, let's crack on, we don't even need him at the moment. The cameras are rolling, hopefully you're all tuned in. So if you like what we're doing and you want to leave a little one of these ones, you go right ahead. We're commenting back to most of the comments as much as we can, um, we're just going to you know, just see how see how we go along with it. So um, I can't even concentrate with Alfie laughing in the background. <laughs> anyway, we're having fun here. It doesn't matter. Right today, I'm going to walk you through Woburn. We're going to let you know what we've been building, what's been going on, what's happening. It's kind of a bit of an over overlay. You know where we are with it, what we're doing with it, some of our ideas, you know, some of the stuff you don't really see. So maybe we'll show you some of the drainage and stuff. Also the Chanoof, if you know what that is, good. If you don't, I'll explain to you in a bit. But anyway, so we're gonna go to Woburn. We're gonna go and check out what we've been doing. I'm so excited. I can't thank the guys enough. So we've got Pete, Sam, we've got, who else? Chris Knight, Greggy Boy, Tony. Um, oh, who else has been helping? Jamie's been helping, like shifting the, down there. So shout out to those guys, legends. Really good, really, really good. Um, but let's go down there. Let's see what's going on. We're gonna go to the glory hole today and I'm gonna meet you on the other side at the sign and then we'll show you how we do it. All right, let's get on with it. Let's go. <laughs> Welcome to Woburn. Oh. Just catch me breath back. Altitude, you see, big hill. So if you've never been here before, the hills are this way, the trails are this way, to the trails. Let's go. Right, so as you see, we're coming over the top. As you walk straight down into Woburn, you'll see it starts to really open up now just as we're coming down the hill. And so yeah, welcome to Woburn. As you've seen, oh look, there's Greggy. Good old boy, get out here, look at that. Shaping the art, oh, that looks the dream. Right, let's go down to the first of the small line. Right, we're at the first of the small line. If you remember in the other video, we made this from a step down into a roller, which works so much better. Look at the state of the place. We got absolutely battered. You know, the UK was inundated with storms. I think we had three back to back. So we're going to have a bit of a clean up today, but I'm going to show you the massive changes that we've had. It's so exciting. So I'm going to skip to where the old fourth was. Let's go. Right, so look, this is how much this has changed in the last, I don't know, month since we've done that roller. We're now at the fourth well, what was a landing? Now it's just a pile of dirt. We've got a takeoff in the way. We've got berms in the way. And, but not only that, the whole thing has moved right over. So let me talk you through it. Let's go back to the second and let's have a look. Right, okay, so we're back at the second now. Nothing's changed with this one. It's still the same. So we've got the first little roller and we've got this double but the big changes are after it. Come on, let's go out and show you. Right, so the big, big changes that we've done. After the big day, we moved the line from through here. So where I was on the fourth, we've actually moved the whole thing. <laughs> Keep going. To this side of the tree. We need to fill that hole in as well. So we pushed it all on this side because it'll make a bit more sense further down because the main line's actually coming through there now. 
So um, that where that roller originally was, where it dropped down after the second and then hit the third, we've actually got rid of that, moved it all over, and then we've kind of mirrored the sixth in the main line. So if we go this side, we'll be able to sit. All right, let's do it. Right, so now we're at the second landing on the small line. As you can see, it mirrors the sixth. Works nicely because one, it gives stability to that, but also it might give you some cheeky little transfers. So we'll see what happens with that. But back to the small line. So you land the second and then pick up on this roller. Originally, it was going to come through here tight to this tree and have a takeoff sort of about here. But with that being said, this was meant to be the smaller line. That was going to end up being about sort of 20 foot. So, you know, for it to be the small line, it's going to be way too big. So what we've done, we've uh, crunched it all back because out of the dig day, the landing was actually here. So we've moved it loads back. We've put a roller here. And then what we've done, we've put a huge 180 berm in, which is about probably eight foot tall at its highest point. Tight little pocket berm through here which creates a switch back. So that doesn't mean we have to go over that anymore. So now we've come back this way, pick up another little roller. So this all mirrors, once this is all polished up, because this is brand new, still got to do all the little tweaks and stuff. We haven't even had any tires on it. The only tires we've had on it is old Greggy boy over there with the wheelbarrow, hamming it around the corner. I think he even got his elbow down on one of them. But anyway, so you come around this 180, pick up another roller, you come over this second roller, you then go into this naughty little left-hand burn that brings you through the middle of the big line. It makes so much more sense to put the small line between the big line instead of having the small line go over the big line. Don't know, something like that. Anyway, let's go down here and I'll show you what's going on. As you come through here, we're gonna have like a step up onto a twisted hip landing, which then oh, comes into here, into a sweeping left hand berm, goes down this hill. And if you remember rightly, this is where the old fourth was. So we've gone sort of weaved all the way through this. So much more exciting. So stoked with the guys, how they've been getting on. Anyway, enough of that one. Let's get on to the big line. Welcome to the top of a big line. The main line, the biggest line in here at the moment. This is the starting line. Basically, all you do, get on the bike, sit on the top and roll in. You don't need any pedals. This little down slope here is plenty enough speed weight to uh, get over this little step down. This needs loads of work and stuff, but it, it, ultimately it's there. So you come down here, hit this little step down, just a tiny little hop, plenty of speed for that. And as you come through here, as you saw in the other videos, we face this little single roller, still looking the absolute dream and still works really well. So as you come through here, hit this single roller, come down, look, look at how bad we got hit by the storm. You know, there's so many trees that have come down. We're gonna have a big tidy up get it all looking real sharp again. But as you come down on that first roller, come into the first big jump. So this is the first hip, it's about 30 degrees, probably about seven, eight foot high, the landing. It's a really sweet jump. This needs a bit of work as well, but the bulk of it's there. So pleased with that, it's a great jump. So as you come off this first hip, a lot of people make this mistake. They go straight on, end up in this hole. So you want to just pull a little bit on this. Not as much as you think, it's only a little hip. But as you land that, you come down and then you hit this first racer. This also catches a lot of people out as well because people break right on the end, end up right in the middle. As soon as you've got these two, it just unlocks the rest of them. So as we come down, this is the racer. Really sweet jump, you can just kind of hook it long and low. Brings you through. The more speed you can pull off that, the more you can pull out of that. So when this one's glossed up and running really smart, you can get up right up in the tree. I know Matty and a few other boys, 
you know, start touching all the branches and stuff. So it's really cool, especially when the leaves start coming out, it makes really sweet photos. But um, let's move on down and we'll show you what the third landing's like. All right, come on then. Right, so you've landed the third, you've come through, you've come to the fourth, the 90 degree hip. We've, we've spoke loads about that. But also, we've got this massive pond that we've dug out now. This is why there's piles of dirt here and another pile of dirt there. This pile of dirt is going to bolster this out a lot bigger so you can, you know, ultimately go bigger on it and have a bit more room to kind of play around on. Hopefully one day this will fill. If you're over wondering, this pipe here obviously needs cutting down and this oh, runs into this pond here. So once this pond's full up, you'll see this other pipe just here. This is an overflow. So once this is up to its maximum level, the water will then go down that pipe to another pond, which I'll show you a bit later on. So this pile here oh, is going to go on top of this feature around the other side. But I'll, uh, oh crikey, so just like a building site. I'll show you that when we come round to it. But now this is where the trails make a turn to go back round. Remember in some of those previous videos I spoke about this berm? Well, this is it. Greg has done a wonderful job of patching that up after we had a massive landslide due to the amount of rain. So you come railing round this berm and then you come down into the fifth and I'll show you around the corner. Let's go. So we're at the fifth. That's when you come railing around the berm and pick up that first roller. This one's short and steep, so you, you kind of go up more on this one. As you can see, we've got the legend himself, Greg. If you don't know who Greg is, he's one of the main men that stacks the dirt up here. Look at the job he's done, it's the dream. Oh, look at that, buttery already. So Greg is just cleaning up the side of that. Hello, Greg, how are we? You all right, you all right? There he is. If you don't know who he is, follow him. Greg's the boss. He's doing a wonderful job as always, cracking on. So yeah, anyway, back to the fifth, send the fifth, and then we go back into that uphill bit, and I'll talk to you as to why we've done that as well. All right, let's do it. Yeah. So as you land the fifth, you come down into the graveyard, oh, past the drain, if you're wondering what that is, that takes any water that gets collected down here. As you come back up, you come into this thing called, well, I'm not sure what we call it, it's like a lily pad, nolly block but ultimately it goes uphill so it's a little bit against the grain um, as you come up this you come into a little roller and then you pick up this big berm the, uh, the idea behind this is because one the this is the natural ground level and because the trails ultimately always flow downhill we have to put loads of speed into this to carry speed through into that so it's a bit of a tricky one we've still got a few tweaks on it but it's getting there, it's good. So then we come round this berm, through here. Obviously this is gonna be, a, I don't know, nine foot high. You see you've got tire tracks on the top. So as you come round here, it's quite tight, so you can actually gain so much pump from this. So you whip through here, past the other drainage hole, and then we got these two double rollers. If you can see, if you imagine a height line between the two, they're actually going downhill. So they're really great for generating loads of speed, which is ideal because the next one's a little beast. Let's go, I'll show you. All right, so as you come down off that double down roller, you go past the drain, which was on the other side. So what we've done, we've made a 180 turn and then we're coming back again. So we've now got three tiers, each level dropping down probably a couple of foot. So as we come down into here, we hit this eight foot kicker. This jumps wicked. After this, we go into the next landing and then we go into the next big hit. Let's go around and have a look. So as you come licking out of the sixth, you come down into the sixth landing. Oh, she's a steep old girl. Let me come down here. Give me two seconds, I'm gonna meet at the top. As you land that six, you come up onto this left hand hip, which is 90 degrees pretty much. This landing is a monster. So once this is running, hopefully we're going to be somewhere up here jumping it, which is going to give us loads of speed for the next feature. This isn't finished yet, so it's right me running down it. 
And now we'll explain the next. See, still a little bit soft after the last landslide. I'm gonna clamber up this one and I'll show you what we're doing with this. Welcome to this thing. There's no actual name for this yet. I did see one of these made before at Lost Trails and I was massively inspired. So us and the crew have tried to build this. It's still an ongoing project because we've had multiple collapses. Um, but the idea of it is if you can imagine like a rainbow sort of shape or like a magnet sort of shape, is you come down that left hand hip, up here and around here. So the top of it is going to be sort of about this high. So it's going to be a beast when it's done. So the idea is you come up here, you almost stall out like a vert wall. As you come up and then you pick up a load of speed for the motorway section, which is going to be a really cool bit. But if you are wondering why the bathtub's in there and that log, the reason is why. So it's as you, excuse me, catch your breath, climbing that little mini Mount Everest. So as you come up, you go down. If you was to cut that corner, those next features won't be set for that speed. So by having, you know, like this divider, so you've got an apex to go through, it basically sets your speed for that next jump. So when we're testing it, as long as we can get around this, we know the speeds are going to be pretty similar. So if you was to cut that, you know you ain't going to jump the next feature. So as you can see where this white base is, you see all these, these are sandbags. We put about 200 in this from literally the ground up. So we built like a wall to just give it some support. Um, we're still having quite a few collapses just because of the sheer amount of dirt and weight. But uh, it's getting there. So when it's finished, it's going to be about sort of this sort of high and sort of as you probably see from there now, you get like a bit of a rainbow shape, a bit of a magnet sort of shape. So you'll come up here, kind of stall out, maybe a few jibs on the tub, back in the motorway section. Hey! Oh, that's steep, so we're going to be absolutely motoring through this motorway section. Past the drainage as well, which all picks up this whole bit because essentially this whole bit here is a bath so we've put drainage all underground that goes all the way through so as you come down this motorway section you've got like a cambered roller so it kind of puts you that way and with it being cambered that way your body weight naturally wants to shift that way which puts you more into the belly of the burn which is going to be on rails around there and then we should have loads and loads of speed then we can hit that big 10 footer over there. Right, so as you come round this berm, you pick up this sort of downwards roller through here, down. Hopefully we've got loads and loads of speed. I'm going to get a whacker plate through here. So if anyone wants to donate us a whacker plate, it will go to a lovely home. Thank you very much. Anyway, back to this over the roller and into this booter. I think this is probably going to be about a nine foot kicker. But um, hold on, wait two seconds and I can show you it. She's not quite finished yet. We're just letting, because uh, of the amount of rain we've had, um, just letting it dry out a little bit. And I've actually found a source of clay up woven, so I've actually faced the whole thing with it. So just come along, you clay boys know how to do it because it's tough, so fair play to you. So it should be licking into that. Obviously when we come through here and just adjust it all and make it all look real smart, we'll cut that transition in really smart. Also, we're gonna cut a big old drain through here because this is a, just a huge bathtub. So this is about as far as we are at the moment. Massive thanks to everyone that come out on the dig day because, you know, and all the guys that have been helping up at Woburn, we wouldn't be as far as this without the help of you guys, which leads me nicely on to, it is now, I believe, Friday. So tomorrow, we've got another dig day on. If you're keen, you want to get involved, or you want to learn how to build, or you want to come down for a chinwag, come down here, you're more than welcome. And I'm going to show you what we're going to do in the on the next dig day. All right, come on, let's go. So now we're on the new eighth that was piled up on the dig day. I'm hoping it's going to be sort of, I don't know, around this sort of high. It's going to come down, down into a big bomb hole. Obviously, we're going to sort all the drainage out as well. Come through here. All the dirt we do dig out, we're going to push up there. Whatever we got left, we'll build another 
take off. Wait, wait, <laughs> we're right here, right here. We're gonna build another take off. I don't know, another eight footer here or something. And then you see this other pile here. We're gonna make that into another landing. And then what you see behind that, I'll save that for another video. This is what we call a shadoof. If you don't know what this is, it's a, I think it's an Egyptian way of getting water out of a well. Me and Tony love it built this, it's super cool. We made it of just some wood we found on the floor, nicely recycled. The idea of it is a counterweight. So at the moment it's super light, well not super light, but it's more, you know, aided to go that way because of the counterweight. But, so when you go down, put it under the water, Pull the old girl up, like, you've got like 10 litres of water there with the counterweight, which makes it a lot lighter. So what you do, obviously I've got a bit of a DPM underneath it, so any spillages can just wash back in, it doesn't eat away all the sand. And we can just pull the old girl up, bit of juice in her, there we go. Yeah, the dream. Pop her back in a bit more. Got ourselves a can full of water. Thanks guys for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed that. And I hope you kind of understood where we're going with the trails. Like I say, if you haven't, get down tomorrow for the big day. If not, come down to the jam. It'd be lovely to see you. If not, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks to Alfie. Thanks to you guys for watching. And also Greggy Boy for doing a bit of a glisten up on the third. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye! <laughs> what a weirdo! I'm a, I'm a weirdo! <laughs>